Oh, hi. You may be wondering, why is Billy Pipes staring at his tank? And why is it so murky and cloudy looking? Well, I'll explain that to you in a minute. And I'm also going to explain to you and show you what this little fun geoplate's been up to the past week. Actually, two weeks. He's been the bully in the tank. So, let's go take a look. So here's the, uh, the bully of the tank right now. It's this nice little fungia. Likes to float around until he finds an A-can and then he parks right on top of them. Um, he's killed two, but mainly because I was away on vacation and he was on top of them probably for the entire week. Because when I came back, it was just a uh, skeleton of an A-can. Here it is another day, just another random shot. I gave him this whole little front section, and now he wants to flow backwards into the A-cans. But now he's finally happy where I have him. But I wanted to show you a little bit of the coral wars that we got going on. All right, so you can see here, it's clear as day. There's no hiding it. My fish have ick, every single one of them. I have the four cardinals, the flame hawkfish, the clownfish, the scooter blenny, and the two barnacle blennies. Um, out of nowhere, just came home from work, and you can see this guy right here. That's what they all look like. They're just completely covered in it from head to toe. And I wanted to try and use um, the kick, ick, and rally combination. I know people say it works, people say it doesn't work, but you know, the whole thing about this hobby is, is every system is different. So these fish, they still have a really great appetite. They're eating like pigs. So I figured, you know what? Instead of ripping everything down to get them out, because most of my fish, I, they're, I can't catch them. I'd have to move the rocks, and my rocks are completely molded together. So this is the rally part of the kick, kick, and rally combination. So, so far it's been six days since I've been using this, and um, I'm done using the rally. So the tank is no longer fluorescent green. It looks like antifreeze when you pour it in there, but they're still eating. They're still alive. And um, next week we'll do an update on how they look and how everybody made through the treatment. So thanks again for watching this short little update. Um, the fungia, as you can see here, is behaving. He's still in that little spot. Um, the fish. They're definitely showing improvement. None of them have died, and they're still eating like champs, so that is a good thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful that we're going to get through this situation in the tank, and stay tuned. Um, Friday is my next upload, and it's going to be a lot on the new tank build. Yep, if you didn't watch last week's video, you missed the last 20 seconds of my video. It's not my fault that you didn't see it. If you want to see it, go back and see it, but here's the spoiler, this tank is going bye-bye. See ya. Everybody in my house has told me that I'm not happy with this little tank. I kind of like it. It's, it, you know, it's fine, but, you know, who doesn't want a bigger tank, right? So, we've all decided, actually they decided for me, and then they just told me, Daddy, we know you're not, you know, happy with the little tank, and you should go bigger, or I missed a bigger tank, or, you know trying to save all the coral I can and keep it as long as I can for them, you know, 20, 30 years from now. So, yep, this tank won't be here, um, I would say by September 1st at the latest, there's going to be a whole new system here. So, hope you guys stick around for the build. I want to actually um, film every single step of it, you know, little little bits of every single step. So. Hopefully, if you are thinking about setting up an aquarium or starting a new one, maybe this video will help you because um, I'm going to show every single thing that I do and I'm actually going to put down the average retail on it because I know sometimes people don't pay as much as other people or, you know, depending on the location you're at, you can get a way better price on something. So, I'm not going to show you guys what I paid for. I'm just going to show each item that I use, each step that I do, and every penny that it costs so you guys can actually see hey that's what I want to do and it gives me a good pretty good average of pricing so um, yeah that's it for today and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one